If you wanted to make five of these case fans, it would only cost you 20 bucks. Now compare that to the $150 it takes to get something that looks just about the same as this online from Cooler Master and name brand. You're looking at forking out a huge amount of money just to make your system flash with a couple RGBs. And this is why I want to make this video because I believe everyone should have the right to some cheap, affordable RGB case fans without having to fork out a huge ton of money. And this right here is my little test and experiment, which obviously turned out amazing, is how I could make a couple of these at home and all the tips and tricks that I did to make these at home so anybody out there can make something that looks just the same in their computer without having to fork out a huge amount of money because let's be honest, anybody out there that's spending a lot of money on that is taking away from some other, some other part in the systems and looks should not be expensive. So I know what you're thinking. Oh my goodness, why do you have like these little tape spotches on here? Well, I needed some tape that would show where I was putting the tape because obviously tape is kind of important, but not as important as you would think. This is just a regular clear case fan. Cheap, $1, $2 clear case fan. No RGB, no lights whatsoever. And you just put an LED light strip. Um, I have one in the description I'll put. It's like 14 bucks for like five strips. You put those five strips on there, add a couple connectors, grab a couple case fans, and you're looking at right around 20 bucks at the time of this video that you can buy five of these, fill your whole system up, and have something that looks absolutely amazing. Not to mention RGB remote controlled, hooked up to any one of the motherboards that support any type of the color sync, and it will work fine. Why pay the huge amounts of money when you can save out and still get something that looks good. And this, obviously, if you were to just set this up right, you could get something that looks really, really, really nice in your system without having to deal about buying something from Cooler Master, or buying something from Thermaltake. You literally just buy it, you build it, and there's something that's easy to do. It's not that difficult. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. So let's talk about a couple of things. As I said, um, you'll need some RGB strips. I'll have them in the description. I don't, I'm not trying to endorse it as well. You're welcome to go buy them, any other RGB strips you can get for a cheap deal. The ones I have in the description though are kind of the cheapest that I've had and I've actually used them in like the last six or seven systems that I've built. So I'm using what I personally use. These are some really junky old case fans I got out of the uh, charity uh, trash kind of thing. So I got these junky case fans that I've turned into something really cool. And that's basically what we're going to be doing today is just kind of taking those. I've also got a little bit of an RGB extension. And of course you'll need a um, RGB splitter and controller as well as some case fan controllers if you're gonna have more um, fans than your motherboard supports. Uh, those are a couple other things you'll need. But let's be honest, this looks really cool and I'm really proud of how this turned out. So let's get into how you build it and how you can get one for yourself. So here we are. Here's the case fan right here that I think we're going to use. I'm going to start by trying to take out the LEDs. I'm going to unplug this before I electrocute myself. It's because obviously when you're messing with exposed wires. Not necessarily the smartest idea, which I don't think these are, but oh well. Let's get these LEDs out. Now this looks kind of really stupid. So what I would do is if I was you and I was making this is obviously you don't want these reds showing through but I've used kind of an opaque uh, green tape kind of thing. I'm gonna actually unplug this real quick before I get into this. So I'm using an opaque tape and I'm basically just going to try to route all the wires through here so I can actually access them, sorry. It's been a long day. And access them on a different location here. So what I'm just going to be doing is having everything in the center location so I can tape this up. Now obviously depending on your case there won't be room back behind here. Um, but this is kind of a cheaper option. I'm not too concerned about, you know, this this won't necessarily be a problem. You just got to check. And if not, there's always this good space in between the, um, in, in the fan right here. Um, usually there's a little bit of space every kind of computer case fan has them. Uh, that's another good place to do that. I'm just doing it here for the sake of this video because I want to make sure this is all tied up and not visible uh, from the front which is what we're kind of going for the front here and so I'm just going to kind of tape that up so it's kind of a hidden ball um, back there so it's you're not going to really see it. And then you've got a regular clear case fan. Um, now obviously if you have something along the lines of say uh, 
we'll just do it this way. Uh, we'll just say you have a regular case fan that has some LEDs that's a lot more difficult to do, and you may want to go through and tape those up and hide them on the edges. It just depends, but you basically want to hide them up with some opaque tape or some paper or something. Now you see you got a pretty clear um, case fan, so now let's go through and put the LED lights on. And that, my friends, is some homemade RGB LED case fans from nothing more than a little RGB strip. And this one actually comes in. This is the price of this. Literally walks in the door. You can get one of these yourself. Make one for yourself for about three fans. Three of these fans. You just find some clear case fans online on Amazon. And you literally can make one of these for like... 10 bucks. If you get, you actually, it's probably 20 bucks for a whole pack of as many of these as like, I think it's like five or six you can get all for 20 bucks. And you're looking at what it looks like. Let's be honest. This looks pretty dang good. I mean, why spend all the money on some fancy RGB looking snazzy stuff when you could just get something that looks just the same? Like, let's be honest here, guys. This is a good idea. I have been pressed for once I actually come up with a good idea for a video. Why pay money when you can make it yourself and know what's going on in your system? So, let's talk a little bit about logistics. Because if you want to make one of these, which I'm thinking about putting this in my system now because the way that this turned out, oh my goodness. But, let's figure out how you put this in your system. I don't want to set this smooth and stop manually controlling it. But, look at this. If you were to put this in your system, what would you have to do? Well, first of all, you need some LED controllers because you're not going to be able to put all of these on the same thing. It's just not happening. And so, in order for that to happen, you're going to need to put a little bit more work in here. So, you're going to need to get a RGB controller, probably three of them depending on how many fans you've got. And then I'm going to just set the colors a little bit more because I like changing the colors. We'll set it to a nice aqua because I like aqua. That's my color. So you're going to need like some RGB controllers, and then you're going to need some case fan controllers as well, if that's what you're planning on doing. Um, a couple downsides to this, though, is that you need to put a little bit more tape on here. And I use green tape so you can see where I chose to put the tape. Obviously, if you're doing this on your own, you're going to need to do something a little bit different. You're going to put clear tape on. You'll basically have a much better looking system, or a much better looking RGB case fan. A couple points to note is that depending on the cooler you get, you'll have room along the side. So for example, here you go. This would be one where you'd have, if this was clear, and you'd have a little room to put the RGB strip all the way around without any problem, and you get a really, really nice looking RGB case fan. But as for this, this is something you cannot beat. And obviously, uh, I would do it a little bit differently on the situation for the RGB controller. But besides that, there you go. A beautiful case fan that is way cheaper than anything you can get that has more RGB control, remote controlled, the wrong remote and remote controlled for however you'd like without spending an absorbent amount of money on some RGB case fans a hundred so dollars this saves you right here a solid like 120 bucks who could complain about this guys I'm, I'm impressed I'm doing this I, I, I literally gotta make some more of these that's what we're doing we're making these I'll tell you what this is what this is what I'm doing forget forget YouTube we're just we're just starting a computer a building company where all we do is we make these case fans guys Forget it.